Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video, I hope you're all doing really well. I can only apologise for the time between us moving house and to me filming and posting the last couple of videos that I have the massive gap between them. Uh, moving the house and everything else, it was quite a stressful time, there were some other things going on and we really just wanted to take this time to sort ourselves out basically. Um, now on, now that the kids are in nursery and I have some time, I am going to be more active on Instagram, on YouTube and everything else uh, as much as I can. In today's video I wanted to do a huge homeware haul of all the little bits and pieces that we've been getting for the house so far. It's a huge mixture of brands, I've got it all laid out there, I think there's some Aldi stuff, some Amazon, um, Dunelm, Home Bargains, there's uh, lots of stuff, it's, it's a big mixture. And I just want to say before we get started in me showing you everything, these are things that we have picked up over a period of time, we haven't gone and done a massive splurge of like hundreds of pounds on everything, we obviously can't afford to do that, um, I'm just a regular person, I'm not in um, collaboration with any brands or anything. So don't feel like you're watching my video and going, oh my gosh, she's bought so much stuff, I wish I could do that because I haven't done it all at once. It's been over the past couple of months and there have been some things that were gifted to us. So there's um, a big range here of how we managed to get these things. Okay, so sit back, relax, grab a cosy drink. It is a little bit dreary here today, so I would go for a cosy drink. Uh, light a candle and let's get started with today's video. So the first thing I want to show you is actually a set that I got from the range. Um, so it's a kind of like a rusticy farmhouse retro look kind of stuff and they're little containers for um, all sorts of little things. Um, so I've got dishwasher tablets one here however we don't actually have our dishwasher hooked up at the moment and there isn't a place for it so these are going to be kept for a later date when we finally get our own house, um, when we will have a dishwasher. Um, I'm not just going to get rid of it. Um, this is our washing up caddy. Um, it is currently in use at the moment. I'm already getting use out of it. It's great. I like the little compartments. It holds everything that I need. I also got recently the, the laundry powder as well, which is great. And it comes with this little scoop, which um, when I do a scoop into my washing machine it's almost the perfect scoop of powder so that's really handy as well and then the last piece I got from the set was the compost because where we live we get our food waste collected so having a little compost bin with the biodegradable bags in it is super super handy now I did spot something in Dunelm which kind of matched the theme of those little bits I got from the range and it isn't something I saw in the range when I got the set but I couldn't leave it there, so it's a bits and bobs tin and it's got a little um, handle with a, a wooden bit here and it's great for the kitchen where we've got like letters and keys and change and everything we're just going to put it in here and I'll keep it in a cupboard because I like to have my kitchen surfaces quite bare rather than have loads of stuff on it, so all of these things except for the compost bin are kept in uh, cupboards. The next thing I got for the kitchen was a bin. <laughs> uh, I got this from Home Bargains. Um, we left our bin at the old house simply because it was one that came with the house when we moved in and it was looking pretty minging. So I wanted to get a brand new one, a nice neutral coloured one. Um, it's been great so far and because we have our bins right outside the door and we have a food waste compost bin. I don't need to put any bin liners in it because nothing that we use that goes in the bin is wet, like food and things, so that's been really great. It's so easy just to empty it. Another thing that we got for the kitchen is this drying rack. Uh, we got this from Amazon. Um, it's been pretty good so far. It is a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Tyler did order it, however, I do really like it. It's got plenty of space. Plenty of compartments for all of your cutlery. It even has this bit on the side here, which we put our chopping board, which is really handy. And yeah, I like that it comes in a neutral black as well, because I feel like when things are like silver or chrome, they um, 
they look dirty when they've got the watermarks on it so having it in a matte black is perfect to go with that we also got one of these silicone mats we use this on the other side of our sink to put all of our dirty pans because with the kids sometimes stuff on the bottom it gets on the bottom it goes, goes over the side so i feel like i'm constantly cleaning the kitchen counter whereas if i have this it's so easy just to pick up quickly give it a rinse and then it's done and i don't have to worry about constantly cleaning up after children. <laughs> Some more kitchen bits that I got are organisation wise. Um, I got these from Home Bargains. Uh, we have underneath our cutlery drawer, it's basically a free for all in there. There is all sorts in there from like building materials to electrical stuff. So I got two of these clear storage bins. I'm going to put one for like building stuff. So like spare nails, screwdrivers, tape, all of that, and then electrical stuff in here, chargers, c camera chargers, USBs, all those little things. I'm going to put those in there and everything will have a bit more space and organised in there. Obviously couldn't pick, go to Home Bargains and not pick up a scrub mummy. <laughs> Our scrub daddy is looking a bit soft, so um, got a new scrub mummy, which is great. I also got for the drawer underneath the drawer I was just talking about um, a kitchen solution drawer organizer um, set. It basically comes with a, a long one, sort of a medium sized one, and then a smaller one. I think it's mostly going to be for like medical stuff, candles, pens spare bits of things. I'm just going to keep them open like this. Thankfully the drawers in our new house are set up in a way where we can put child locks on them so Angus can't get into anything which is fabulous. Now the last couple of things that I got that are for the kitchen I got from Aldi and a few other bits from other shops as well but I got these acacia wood glass storage jars and they're part of the Kirkton, Kirkton? Yeah, Kirkton House range and I got two sort of large ones and then I also got a pack of three smaller ones like this which are good for things like sugar, desiccated coconut, um, other like smaller things that you would need and we have a zero waste shop um, near us which I'm going to be filling all my jars and creating the pantry of my dreams which will be a video I'll probably do later on. I'm focusing one room at a time at the moment so these are all things that I'll be using in the future. Um, I also got gifted some of the IKEA storage jars, the, should I try and say it, Ortfield. <laughs> um, there was two packs of these that I got gifted. And then I also got for myself the Ray Dunn Signature Collection 180 Organising Labels. Now, I got this off Vintage and it was from America, somebody got it from TJ Maxx and it has so many stickers in that classic is that gonna, in that classic Ray Dunn um, writing. And the last couple of things that I got, I got this dustpan and brush from Home Bargains and it is just that very simple um, black and wood combination and this is actual metal so I feel like that feels a bit more luxury when you're brushing up crumbs off the floor if you're running around children like I am and then I also got the duster the matching duster as well it's a chenille one and um, you can take this bit off as well to wash it and you can reuse it which is great um, and yeah so I got those two together and then some other bits that arrived literally just now are from Sass and Bell which are a brand that I have followed for quite a long time and they are lunch boxes for the kids because now they're going to nursery, they need to put all their lunch and things. Um, so I got two sets and they're like a pack of three, so they'll have a, like a, this is the largest, then they'll have a, a medium one and a really small one, which will be perfect for um, snacks. So I got this one, which is like a really simple little African animal one, with, it's like in a sage green kind of colour. And then I also got a sort of like a burnt orange, almost a peachy kind of coloured one. And this one is got little stars on the front and I think they are so so cute and I think the kids are going to really like them as well. So they just arrived today. 
I forgot that I also got the pegs version of those um, metal holders that I had in the set. Um, I need to get some more aesthetically pleasing pegs. Um, but yes, it's a little pen, hold, uh, pen holder. It's a little peg holder and this has actually been extremely handy for being able to go out outside. Okay, and the last couple of things that I got, this is for the bathroom. It is a rattan towel holder um, and it has a little shelf section and then a bit to hang your towel, which I was thinking of putting nearer to the bath. Um, we do have one currently over the radiator, but um, and we don't have any other storage in the bathroom right now. So to be able to put like style up little bits in there that you would need for your shower in like lovely black or amber glass bottles would be really cute. Um, that's my idea for this. And then also for the kids, we got gifted this from Next. It's a little um, mesh bag with the little suckers that you can stick to the side of the bathroom wall. And they are those cute little bath stickers. Um, they come in all different ones. They've got like animals and stars and like weather and things like that. They're so, so cute. Um, and I love how neutral they are as well because sometimes when you've got kids and your bathroom starts to look like a water park. <laughs> so yeah, this is really cute and really handy as well because everything can drain through the mesh. Now for the kids room, I have got a home base macrame easy fit shade. I was looking for a tassel knotted like tiered lampshade, but the ones that I could find were really expensive or they were on Etsy with people that didn't have many reviews and I was a bit skeptical so I decided to buy a similar one um, you know it's not exactly the same of what I wanted but it's pretty close and I think it will still look great um, so I'm going to put that up this weekend, which is really exciting. Okay, we're on to the last couple of things now. Now, I wanted to repaint the house that we're in currently. It's got a lovely neutral um, wall colour at the moment. It's kind of like a, an oatmeal kind of colour, which is fine, but I kind of wanted to go a bit lighter than that. And the paint that I really, really loved the colour of was the Valspar Clay Figurine, but... Valspar is a, it's a really good brand and the paint is obviously good quality for the price that you pay. However, it is a rental house that we are in and to be honest with you, I don't really want to be paying more than I have to to paint someone else's house. So, I got a sample of the Valspar clay figurine and I basically just went around B&Q and had a look to see if I could pretty much find a match to this colour in their own branded stuff and I got pretty close and I'm happy with the colour that it is. It's called Fairbanks um, in the Good Home collection which is I think it's being Q's own brand. Um, it's a pretty close match. Now the sticker on the paint pot here doesn't match the sticker in there however the sticker that was on the wall looked as similar to that as it could get pretty much exactly the same so I'm hoping that it is I might do a little tester and if it isn't the same I might put these back but I'm not sure but I got two of these they were on clearance as well which is fantastic so they were originally supposed to be 15 pounds each but I got them for 10 pounds so altogether for two of the what, how many liters is this the two 2.5 um, litre tubs, it was £20 plus the sample pot which was £3 something um, and if I don't get to use this on the walls then I'll just use it for painting something else, maybe the kids table or a storage unit that we're going to put in there just so that it matches a bit better. And obviously if you're going to be doing painting you need paint brushes. I got the Equipped paintbrush set, a 10 pack. Um, this was from Home Bargains and it was so cheap. I think it was two pounds for this whole set. And then I also got from Home Bargains the Spear and Jackson microfiber roller and tray. It comes with two roller heads and just one tray, which is fine because I don't, it's only gonna be me doing this. Um, and this I think was two pounds as well, which was a lot cheaper than the ones that you can get in B&Q. 
Now before we go into the kids room so that I can show you what we got for them in there, I wanted to share with you the security system we got for our house. We decided to go with UFI. Now before we um, were thinking about getting home security, um, Ring Doorbell was obviously the one that everyone was going for and then I kept hearing of people getting UFI and I looked at comparisons online and to be honest the price difference isn't that much if anything Ring was more expensive in some areas and for what you get um, I just think it's great so we have the camera, we have motion sensors, we have the alarm, we pretty much have the whole shebang except for the indoor cameras which we might get at a later stage so we're really happy with our purchase from UFI so far. So now I will take you into the kids room to show you probably the biggest item we've been gifted so far which is really exciting. So this is the last thing that, well one of the last things that we got and it is a house bed from Amazon. Now this was gifted to us and when it was gifted I wasn't sure if I wanted to paint the wood because the pictures online, it actually looked really nice against some people's backgrounds, but now that it's here, it's a very naked wood, which is fine. However, I think I might stain it black and still keep that wood effect or paint it, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, it's really, really cute, and that is Angus's just now, and Isla has a matching one. But we're not going to put that up yet, she's too little and it's just a little bit too high off the ground so we're going to keep it in its box until she's ready. Then another thing that we were gifted were these blackout curtains with, ooh, with the little bubbles on the end. They are so cute and they're perfect for the kids room in terms of making sure that it's blackout. We also got from Donnell this roller blind to make it extra black out and I think this is in I think it's called Luna this one and it's so soft the fabric and it's kind of like a um it reminds me of like a granddad's jumper um that kind of material um it's really really sweet and I think it's going to match the room really nice which what I have planned is kind of like black and neutrals that kind of thing and then the last thing we got gifted were these um, wall decals, let me just get these out, and they are just simple black ones but they're in like a forest theme, um, they've got mountains, trees, arrows, uh, little teepees, they've got bears as well, I think it's going to be really cute in here, um, that's kind of like the um, layout you could kind of go for. Um, so I think I'm going to put that on the back wall where the beds are, um, just to tie it in with the theme. And then we also have matching bedding with these sort of styled um, animal prints and tree prints on them as well to go with the beds, which is going to be really sweet. Okay, and that is absolutely everything that we have gotten for the house so far. I'm really excited to get things put up, to get things organised, um, to start getting use of it and painting as well, which is really good and I will be doing home updates on my channel. Um, I'm probably going to be doing it room by room just so that I can really focus on one space at a time and not feel like I've got unfinished projects in every room which I think looks really messy and it was a mistake I made in our last house. So I'm going to be going slow, I'm going to be taking my time so you know we don't have the money to just be like yeah we're going to do the whole room today, order it all and then it's done this is going to be over this is going to be a process and that's okay and i think that's normal and should be normalized especially on youtube when you know your average person can't just spend a thousand pounds on one room to redo it all and make a video in a month um that's not realistic for me and i don't think it's realistic for everybody but thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you really liked today's content there will be similar things coming and please follow my Instagram and everything else will be linked down below. And thank you so much. I will catch you guys next time. Bye.